so Gina, you said, I mean, you kind of already talked about this. You said your primary disagreement with Andrew is that uh, you, dis you said you disagree with much of what Andrew Wilson says and the way he says it. Mm -hmm. I think the tone argument, Andrew, I think you've already addressed it, correct? Mm -hmm. And also, it's not just sit what I say, it's how you say it. How I say it. Yeah, and okay. since I wrote that, I actually watched Andrew's thing about his tone, and I'm fine with Andrew's tone. He can do what he wants. I still disagree okay. with what he says. Uh, so y you disagreed with the component of what he said about when it came to women being able to be part of the clergy under Christianity? No, I, I don't, I don't have, like, I'm not a clergy, so I don't have okay. a fully informed do you think it's, about that. Do you think it's like kind of a, a sexist Christian worldview for women to not be allowed to be clergy? I mean, I'd love for him to change my opinion on it, but I've been like looking at it in preparation for, for coming here and thinking about submission, and I, I don't really understand it, to be honest. Well, I don't understand women being barred from being clergy especially over other women like if they could help other women i don't under I, well i think he I said that they that. can look i'm not really an expert on this topic but neither am um, i i'm just trying to clarify here uh but so you do take issue with the clergy thing i don't understand why a woman would not be able to be in clergy well i think it's because the bible okay, says well, let's it. Try, well let's i love the verse here, can I hear here we the go verse? first timothy okay let's i do not verse. allow women to teach or exercise authority over man but to remain quiet or it was Adam who first created, then Eve. Not only that, but of course we have, oh, I don't know, about 2,000 years of church history, which expresses that women are not allowed to be in clergy. Um, not only that, over but even Protestants who aren't, part of traditional, who aren't part of traditional Christianity, also many Protestant sects bar them from being clergy. They're not allowed to be clergy. They're not allowed to teach men. They must submit and obey. That's the part that you guys on that side of the real good, feel good, good vibrations Christianity don't like. Gives you third dimensional, fourth dimensional bad vibes when patriarchal uh, Christian authority comes out and is like, nah, you got to sit down and shut up because it's not your place to teach. They can make some real madsies right in their feels. Not really, not me. I've just never experienced a man that did that. Like, I don't, I didn't grow up in church. And I don't, and I know a lot of women who are well, great the, leaders and teach other people. So I'm just confused. Like, I get the law. That's the Bible. Which ones? But, which women are great leaders who lead other people? I'm curious. My can, bosses, you name, can you name one that I would know? Name one. My bosses aren't famous. <laughs> what do you want? My bosses aren't famous, but they're amazing leaders. And they run the whole place. So I don't really see it yeah, in, yeah. How about in just my name personal a life. One for me. What is it? I mean, I can't, I can't compete with your bosses, right? Because I don't know who they are. How yeah. about just naming one that I would know? Who's a great leader? Who's Thank famous? You. Name a famous woman who you think is a great leader for me, since there's so many of them. Go ahead. One. I would say Gold, Gold in My Ear. Angela Merkel. Michelle I would say Obama. Gold in My Ear was Maya a great Angelou. leader. She was the first female prime minister of Israel. And I think she was a great leader. I think she yeah. did a lot. Yeah. What was one policy that she passed? She passed the policy to help women gain their rights in Israel. So it is a feminist policy, what which I know you're policy? against. I can't name it. Yeah, you don't know. You, you don't know anything I, about her other than I do she just know happens about her. to be I do some know leader in her. Israel. Angela Merkel was mentioned, <laughs> terrible leader, absolutely opened up the floodgates for immigration into the EU, terrible leader, uh, was at the forefront of trying to rage against what would later become Brexit as well, terrible leader. So I don't know. Where are all these great female leaders? I'd like well, to know. Well, they're I'd in like my personal life. Like, are you supposed to say that the <laughs> people on. in my personal let me, life let don't me, matter? Let me move this on a little bit. Um, what is there anything else besides the clergy thing that you well, disagree with? Well, I'd love with? for, like, I don't, I, I just, I mean, maybe it's a personal off, like, camera subject, but I just, I still, I'm just not convinced. I just don't understand. About what? Why women can't be clergy okay besides I just that told you, besides that, i just told you the entirety well, of the you church said bars them from you're putting it, it in examples that are i just read you the letter between timothy and paul where he was instructed that women must shut up and not teach that is not their place ever i understand those are ancient times but also what about women who are teachers like why should they shut up he, okay, no, you're, sh you're shifting the goalposts. Women can, be, the goal can women can teach kindergartners. They can teach high schoolers. Nobody's saying that they can't. We're talking they about They just church. can't teach church. adults? He's, no, he's talking about church. No, the gospel. Church. Yeah, yeah I still Clergy. think that women are able to teach it. Like, teach. I, I, 
But I, it's it, I look, understand. If okay, the Bible also says if, X, if the Bible in the says Bible, X, it says we're supposed to sacrifice animals. I don't know. Is this the Old yes, Testament? Yes, it does. In Exodus, no, no, it says you're, you're supposed to sacrifice Jesus. animals. Do you think that we're? Do you think that we're Jewish? Because we're not Jewish. We're Christians. That I'm would Jewish. be the opposite of Jewish. We're not Jewish. Oh, okay. We don't sacrifice animals. We follow the New Testament. It's a New we Testament. We do not follow the Old Testament. That is Old Testament, right, Andrew? But yeah. okay. in my opinion, right. that that's cherry picking. That's Judaism. cherry picking. You're saying the Bible. Hold on. Hold on. Just a second here. Yo, stay safe. Thank for the raid, brother. Appreciate it. Hope so just real quick to clarify, you can point to Abrahamic religions. Judaism is a different religion than Christianity. Muslims are different religion than Christianity. They're not the same religion. When you reference the Old Testament alone, you're taking away the entirety of the New Grid Covenant. It has nothing to do. Jesus was the final dollars. sacrifice. We don't sacrifice animals. No one cares animals, what you lady. think. The Bible says exactly what it says. Women are not equal to men, and you should be glad of it. Feminism has failed you. Please get some help. Be better. Yeah, Jesus, okay, Jesus I, was the sacrifice. We don't sacrifice animals like heathens. I, I don't, I I don't agree. know what you're talking I agree. about. I have one last thing to say. So let's say, because I'm just, I'm new to the idea of submission. Okay. So I let's can say, see that. yeah, mm -hmm, I was raised Jewish. Okay. Just so ask wait, your question. No, let, so let's say a woman, let's say a wife submits to her husband, does something that's like shady on her moral compass but she does it because her husband says yes then she gets to god on judgment day and she says but my husband told me to yeah you have to submit to within what is considered rational but but what if is, it's on as, the line well, what if so it's something here, very I'm, like I'm if it's about money it I'm trying to explain it to you so that you understand submission still has to be within the confines of what's rational we know what's rational because we have church church teachings which explain it to us and an entirety of clergy and a community of support which can help it, even if an irrational decision is attempted by a husband. You do need to submit, though, to what is rational. As you've seen going around this table tonight, there are women who would rather live in a forest with a bear, and even if a man came out to take them out of the situation, they wouldn't do it. That is irrational. That would be the opposite of submission to the patriarchy. So, yes, uh, submission still needs to be within the confines of rationality, but as I've seen at this table tonight, there's not that much of that to go around. I thought this was a podcast about dating. <laughs> yeah, but it also, there's a section, since we've been talking about dating for hours, where people who are critics of ours can criticize. And so we take it on with the critics. You've talked plenty. There's no reason for us not to be able to engage on this topic. No, no, no I'm not saying that. I, I was just curious how it was... Well, relating. religion is one of the most hot button issues, including when it comes to dating. People don't date outside of religion, for instance. They may not date outside of certain preferences. Religion is definitely keyed in as one of the hot button issues when it comes to dating inside of the United States and the West. 